I had a guy come up to me one time and he goes, hey man, you're autistic, maybe you can help me out with something. <laughs> and I said, do you want a puzzle solve? What is, uh, what's happening right now? Rubik's Cube put back together? What, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the dream right now? And then he goes, well, my girlfriend's kid, Miles, we think he might have autism. What should we do? And I was like, probably tell a fucking doctor, I guess. So, <laughs> Not my dumbass. What am I supposed to do? Just because I'm also on the spectrum? You think I can help? You think I know it? You think this is the X-Men? <laughs> you think I can help young autistic kids harness their autism? <laughs> Use it to fight the Asperger kids or whatever? <laughs> I can't do that, man. He's going on about why he thinks he's autistic. He's giving some good points. He's like, oh, he's got behavioral problems, social skill issues. And then he goes, and he just fucking loves cars. <laughs> and I was like, that's not a symptom of autism. Cars? No. Trains? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll say that. I, I, I fought with him. I was like, that's not a symptom of autism. He's like, yes, it is. You have, you have to like cars to be autistic. And I was like, I don't think so. Uh, and I think this is why. I think if like cars were a big autism thing, I think there would be like, Every mechanic would be autistic, right? Every car dealership, owner, seller, like car de dog deal, all the commercial, all the, the higher up the CEO, everyone would be autistic, because that would be like their shit. And I feel like if that happened, we would have like different car slogans today. Does that make sense? Like we wouldn't have built for a tough, we would have built for uh, sensitive. <laughs> now I mean, we'd have like uh, Toyota, let's not go places. Let's, <laughs> let's stay right here at home. Autism. So it makes a Subaru a Subaru. That was, that's, like, that's the kind of stuff we were dealing with, okay?